we use this right here. This move. Alright. So. Alright, so we know that this is just a basic high high. Right? Okay, it has option, right? So it's just, you can delay it, you can do all of that with that option. Alright, so, also as a knowledge check, do they know the duck? Okay. If you just do that on their block, how do they respond? Do they sidestep? Do they duck? Do they back up? Do they immediately hit buttons? Right? This is a good tool, right here, this is a good tool, because... You get to mix it with this. It also is a good tool because when people like to hit buttons, that low becomes real nasty. Right? So, so you can do two things with this. Knowledge check, you can mix it up with this, or if they like to hit buttons, bam. Okay, so let's take it a step further than that, right? Boom. Backdash, backdash, right? Backdash, backdash. See what they do, right? If they back up, and it's the wall standing four. Oh, you want to back up? That's cool. I'll take advantage of that. I'll keep you in front of me. Keep you in front of me, right? You may lose your turn with this. But you're still keeping them in front of you. They're not going nowhere. Right? Okay. So, we got that. Cool. So, now we we have a tree. We're building it, right? So, we have we have options. So, I think the thing that you're failing you're failing on is you're not you're cognizant of what what options you have. Like, you have to be cognizant of the option that you have and the response that you get. And that's why when you play me, right, or you play somebody like Akumu or Frosty, you know, or Odell, the reason that you're getting beat up so bad is because we, know, we understand the option behind what we're doing. So, it goes back to my original point, intent. Right? Everything I've told you since the beginning, you have to throw it with intent. There has to be something behind it. There has to be something, a meaning to what you're doing. You can't just throw it. Right? Otherwise, what do they call that? They, they just call it flowcharting. I mean, it's really what that is, is flowcharting. So, let's keep going. What is, what is Hell Sweep good for? Uh, also, that also tracks to my, uh, my right side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and so we, we know it's death on block, right? You get full juggle for it. Alright, so, and then it becomes, a, it, it's pretty much your mix-up tool out of weight dash, right? So you have that, and, you know, you know, you can mix it up with a couple of different things. You can mix it up with this, you can mix it up with this, mix it up with that. You can mix it up with a lot of things out of wave boot, right? Yeah. Honestly, you don't have to give them anything out of, you don't have to give them anything by just standing here, right? You can always do everything that you want to do out of wave dash with this character, period. Everything you can do can come out of wave dash. Wave dash, down forward one. Wave dash, and it's while standing one, two. Wave dash, you know. It could be a wave dash into that, or if you wave dash into that, you know, a wave dash into something that crushes. But this little thing that the wavu, right, does a lot. It disguises, it disguises what you want to do, right? So it pretty much makes everything that you do a 50-50, right? Because you can, bam, you know, it gives you everything. You can do electrics out of it. It gives you all the options. It gives you a good tracking move out of it. It gives you all your options, right? So that's one way to present offense, right? The other way to present it is being a turtle, okay? And that is becoming really good at not let... And it becomes... You have to become really good about giving them nothing. 
And what I mean by that is give them nothing but take from them everything that they're doing. Because understanding, like, I understand Jen's options, right? From just the basic level. I understand which way I got to step. I understand where I need to be. What range is he not wanting to play at? Because if he's here, he's dangerous. If he's here, he's not so dangerous, right? If he's... So I know that his max range is about right here. About 1.5 1. 1. to 2. Right? Yeah. So if I'm going to play against Jin, depending on what the Jin wants to do, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to stand outside that range, or I'm going to be in his face. So when I play you... If you look at the way that I, you know, the way that I play Shaheen, the way that I play anybody, it's all range oriented. Now, how we've already done this, we've already went over this. You can do very, you can do very little and get very far in this game. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yeah. So what I mean by it, like, because I do very little. So, like, if I'm playing Miguel, I'm doing very little. And this is what I'm talking about, the reads. So, your options, like, this also creates your reads. Every move that you present has a cause and effect to it, right? Okay, so, as we went through the tree, and we're starting to go through this tree, we just got done with this, right? Okay, so, what does Ford 4 present? Uh, it's a keep out Mm -hmm. and, and what does it keep you where where does it keep you if you do this where, where, look at the range you see the difference in the range you, you, you see how he comes see how he flies back there and if you're up here he barely goes anywhere do you see what I'm seeing okay Right, but you also have to know, okay, am I going to try to bait them to jab because I was so close to them and try to get them to whiff into a, a, a magic four? So, if you're here, that's jabbing, a, that, that's making them panic into a jab, right? So, it's also a knowledge check. Okay, we all know if this is up close, that crushes any high that he throws. Am I correct? If he does nothing, well, you can present... You can present this. You can present this. You can even present that. You know? You can present certain things to see... Because the reason I'm saying... Okay, like, for instance, the reason I'm saying if you throw it from here... Alright, so that puts them out to about 1.5 to 2, right? So, we've just manage to push him back in space right yeah. if he jabs you have electric right you have magic four you have all these good tools that back that up right and if you notice it, it, i don't know if you notice but there's a common theme in everything that he does and what is that What, what, what is the common theme here? No. The common theme is, is he's setting you up for counter hits. He's fishing. This character fishes for counter hits like a monster. Okay? He's a dirty, dirty little man because he likes to do dirty shit like that. Where I talk about, like, you, you hear the quote, Jim Privilege... That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Everything he does sets up a counter hit. Every option that you you decide like like even this, like come on. You have, you know, and you have not only that, you have stance option. You lose. That's that's where like that's where I'm trying to push to you. Every everything this man is doing, he either pushes you away just enough to catch a counter hit, right? Or he harasses you with certain tools that make you 